Hello Scorpios, welcome to your general reading with Angelic Ascensions. I hope all is truly well. Thank you for joining me today. This is going to be a reading for the Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, as well as maybe a little bit of something for the cross watchers. Let's get right in, let's dive right into this reading. Reading for the Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Scorpios, Holy Spirit, show me Scorpio. Some of you, this is a Scorpio to Scorpio relationship. Some of you obviously have a soulmate relationship with somebody and it feels like some light is going to be shed on maybe something that was kept hidden from you, Scorpio. And maybe there's a need for a conversation between you and somebody. At the same time, I'm seeing a scenario, Scorpio, where something is really going on at work. Something really might be troubling you at work. Something might put you in this position to either reevaluate something that you're going through, reevaluate your job, your position, or maybe it's time to change your perspective. Some of you could even be um, considering quitting your job. All right, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on in this situation. Some of you are... You got an opportunity coming up, Scorpio, and this could be an opportunity for you to learn something new. This could be an opportunity to learn learn something that maybe you've either missed in the past and maybe it's time to pay attention to this because it feels like Spirit is bringing something to your awareness for you to, again, reevaluate something. Um, this could be you learning from past mistakes that maybe you've been repeating, like repeated cycles somewhere in your life. Um... <laughs> This could even be talking about maybe a childhood dream that you might have. Maybe about doing something, pursuing something in particular. And maybe there um, there could be some complications in your life that may not really be difficult as they seem. You could be looking for answers external from yourself. You could be looking like talking, trying to get advice from other people. But the advice that you're looking for really comes from within. It feels like your spirit guides are giving you these downloads and placing you the answers to your questions right within you. And it's going to be very important for you to pay attention to these things. Because it does feel like some of you might be feeling weighed down by responsibilities, by your emotions. Or uh, maybe, I don't know, like maybe you're, maybe you've been, your emotions have been on a rampage lately. Maybe there's some people around you that can't quite be trusted with the seven of swords. Like, I don't know. About to call you guys sad you came out so strong for sag scorpio in their reading so some of you could obviously be dealing with a sagittarius somebody really has some sneaky behavior possibly on the internet and somebody could be very argumentative have a lot of anger problems and even have somebody's secret that they're keeping on the side scorpio somebody could be looking for sex outside the relationship and I feel like there's somebody that may bring you this type of emotional abuse. Like you might be in an emotionally abusive type of relationship with somebody that's trying to pretend to be something that they're not. And somebody that's, that's fishing for weaknesses and somebody that says one thing and does another. And it could be an Aries. really have <laughs> it's like you're a spiritual guide of some type Scorpio or you may have a desire to be I don't know make sure this isn't you trying to go along with the crowd to get some type of acceptance you could be there might be some things that you're not taking action on. Like there's a place in your life where you're where there's a whole bunch of inaction. And maybe it could be due to like a, a lack of knowledge. And some of you are no doubt dealing with a Leo or you have Leo in your chart. Okay. Some of you, random. You're, I want to say maybe martial artists. Somebody could be a wolf in sheep's clothing. Could be creating some type of illusion for you. And you could really be falling for somebody. 
I don't know. You got a lot of emotions. In, yeah. That's what I'm getting with the devil and the fool card here. Yeah. There is like a wolf in sheep's clothing in this situation. Somebody is not what they quite seem to be. And somebody could be leading you astray. Somebody's got some secrets. They're coming in with skeletons in the closet. Somebody's not being completely honest with you about their past, I feel. And somebody could be like leaving a situation, like alluding, like, what am I trying to say? Somebody is like running from a situation and what you might know, might not know about this person as it relates to their past is somebody is a habitual cheater, a serial cheater. might meet this person on the job or maybe you are talking to somebody on the job or maybe this is where their secret friend is Scorpio maybe there's somebody that you're being very patient with <laughs> and it could be a Leo yeah it may be time for something to come to an end and for you to move on with something because it definitely feels like something that is hidden is coming to light and it feels like with this eight of swords like something is really perplexing you you could be very stubborn about something or maybe, I don't know, like you're caught in this type of stubborn type of thought process and it feels like this is turning out to be a respect factor for you. Maybe you feel like somebody doesn't respect you, respect this relationship, forward movement. So maybe, yes, confirmation, you are deciding that it's time to move on from this situation. It is time to move forward. Because I feel like somebody has ghosted you. Maybe this could be abandonment. This could have been childhood abandonment. This could be that maybe you have, I don't know, somebody may ghost you. Some of you might be worried about your money, your financial situation. You may want to move on from your job, but you're worried about money, finance, this type of thing. You may want to leave something behind. And you got some things here, some grudges that maybe it's time to release. You want to get clear about some things in your life. And yes, it is a respect factor. It has everything to do with respect. Maybe you don't feel respected or heard by the one that you love. And yeah, you do have some things in your mind that are on rotation that you can't stop thinking about. Maybe you feel pulled in two different directions about what to do. But yes, it's very clear that with the Ten of Swords that there is some type of betrayal that is brewing here. And it's only a matter of time before you see the truth about somebody. Somebody have a child. Sweet childhood wounds, childhood scars. Yeah, somebody has a baby with somebody. Or maybe there could have been a loss of a baby. So this seven of swords situation, yeah. It, you, like I said, some things are going to come to light about a betrayal. And here you are, queen of swords. This could be you, Scorpio. You might have air in your chart. Or maybe you're just taking on the energy of the queen of swords and deciding to see the truth. Once you find out the truth about something, it definitely feels like you're going to be stepping away from this person. Somebody's really putting you through a lot. And for some of you, you're coupled with somebody and there's somebody that knows that your partner is coupled and that it's not going to stop them from pursuing them because it definitely feels like you're dating somebody and that um, somebody is leaving a situation. Somebody could be waiting for somebody to leave a marriage, waiting for somebody to break up with somebody in order to have a reunion with them. Because it feels like somebody's thoughts are on repeat. What Somebody's cheating. Yeah, so let's see. Somebody has somebody that they're keeping secret. But this is like a habit of cheating. Yes, they got a friend that they're trying to pull off as a friend. But there's really more to it. For some of you, this could be going on at work. Or maybe it did. And yeah, somebody is giving you a guilt trip, possibly. Trying to manipulate you. And... You're waiting for somebody, it feels, Scorpio or Crosswatcher to give you a commitment. And it's like they're not. And something is really perplexing you about this situation. Why is the devil here? You're trying to work on it and work on it to no avail. And your spirit guides are kind of trying to lift you out of this toxic situation where you're coming up short. And where maybe it really is time to give up the fight for something. 
Some of you could definitely be moving out from somebody. There could be somebody that's moving out from you. Maybe this has nothing to do with a relationship. Some of you could simply be thinking about moving and relocating. You definitely have a strong energy of a Gemini as well as a Scorpio. This would be your own greeting, so this makes absolute sense about why your own energy would show up, but I'm also seeing Leo front and center. You may be feeling a bit confused about what the next chapter holds for you, but with the Nine of Pentacles, it looks like it, it, it has everything to do with singlehood and independence and focusing on self in a very positive way and backing out of a situation that just really isn't what you thought it was. It's not what it really seemed to be in the beginning. Your intuition is definitely cluing you in on some things. And again, there is some type of a repetitious cycle where again, your spirit guides, oh, let's, let's see, you might feel like something is out of control. You might be having fear or anxiety about something. And yes, this is where your intuition is chiming in. You may be coming to realize that there is no way to reconcile with somebody. There is no way to reconcile your differences. And with the Eight of Cups, it definitely feels like there's a departure of some type Eight of Cups with the Six of Swords, no doubt about it. Some of you could definitely be thinking about leaving your job, parting ways with certain people who are absolutely deceptive and full of drama. Others of you, this has something, because it looks like, yeah, respect is a central issue at your job. It's a respect factor. You got people that are stabbing you in the back, or this could be you betraying other people's trust. This could be people that you work with. This could definitely be friends, but you definitely have somebody that's fake and phony around you, Scorpio. Don't let this be you, but I definitely want to, again, see the a Leo. There's somebody that you feel is like burning a bridge in your life. Somebody is burning their bridges and it could be an Aries. Some of you, this could be a father of your child. Scorpio, you might have Earth in your chart, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And it feels like, yeah, you're leaving behind a situation where there are some unscrupulous people, some unethical people. And you definitely have somebody on the prowl. And this would be, for some of you, an air sign. An Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Hmm. Sneaking around, yeah. Some of you may work in the beauty industry or you may work in an industry where your appearance is front and center. and um, Or you may have a desire to go into something of this type. But it feels like fear possibly having to do with, once again, a Libra is standing in your way. Some of you, I don't know, is there a background check? Some of you might be worried about your background coming out not being clean. Because I'm seeing some of you might have legal issues that you're having to tend to or this has something to do with your background. Could even be with moving. Maybe you got something on your background that's blocking you. Yeah, you got some type of argument. You may, have ha you may be on guard with somebody uh, regarding money matters. Money. And yeah, it's like you may be thinking about walking away from your job to explore your options and taking on a leadership role here. So you could be transferring within the same company. Others of you, you're leaving and you're getting a better job. But it's very clear that something may come to a stop, a complete standstill. For some of you, like I said, this is an abrupt, abrupt ending of a job. To, to walk away, to go explore your options. And others of you, this is a relationship. You, you are ending something, having a lot of fears surrounding maybe leaving something behind and planning a new door, a new chapter of your life and exploring your options. There may be something that you feel like you, you are not capable of doing, Scorpio, and that may not be fact. It's going to be a good time to really put some money aside for a rainy day, start budgeting your money because it definitely feels like there's something on the horizon for you that it's time to like make plans for, Scorpio. <laughs> Leo, Air and Leo. Air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini with Leo is, again, dominating this reading. Yeah, it's like you keep going around in circles with the same situation, same cycle, same, jogging around the same scenery possibly with a Virgo, and it feels like you're wanting to move forward out of some type of stagnation. Some of you, this may be surrounding your own mom. Others of you, this is a mother figure in your life. You may share a child, co-parent a child with somebody, and somebody is not sure whether or not you love them anymore, whether or not there's happiness between you and somebody. 
and somebody may not want to change. Somebody might have addictions. And I feel like this could even be you having fear of change about changing your career. A complete 180 when it comes to your career. Because it's looking like maybe you're wanting to stick to the mainstream because you feel like that's what's um, reliable for you as far as money is concerned. But it looks like you're planning something else in your life. Crafting some type of new future for yourself. Letting go of something. But maybe feeling like you're in the dark about some things. Not wanting to repeat the same pattern. Not wanting to be about around the same dramatic type of environment. Same dramatic type of people. Yep, and your spirit guides are saying it's time to surrender to your full power. Because perhaps you have been playing it small. Maybe out of fear. But maybe it's time to move forward to, you know, towards something. Because it definitely feels like something is going to yield a lot of success for you. Self-esteem could be low right now. What is it this effect? It could be someone else. Like you could be allowing somebody to penetrate your bubble mentally. Like... To be letting somebody get to you because like i said somebody around you is like putting you down scorpio and yeah moving forward it's going to be important it's going to be integral for you to pay attention to who you trust because not everyone around you is trustworthy you got somebody that's really trying to that really has something up their sleeve yeah some type of tricks up their sleeve and i feel that for some of you scorpios there could be somebody that's coming in to do what Horus is very relevant in this reading as well. Scorpio, yeah. Putting, putting aside your differences, I feel like there's somebody that wants to be civil with you. But they're not really coming forward right now. They're not really following through on something that maybe they want to say to you. They may have really thought something through, but somebody hasn't made a decision about communicating with you after you've walked away somebody is really still holding on to you maybe after they decided to cheat on you could be the father of your child who could be a leo looks like there's trust issues and there's a situation where you have been overly genuine generous to someone to the point that you're neglecting yourself and now you're feeling like it's time for you to focus on you and your own happiness and this is an earth sign okay this is uh, there's obviously some of you are obviously dealing with a Taurus that maybe you blocked and that you feel like they burn their bridges with you. You don't want to talk to this person. Maybe for some of you, it's a Gemini moving on from a situation that's not making you happy. And other some of you, it's 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 becoming an entrepreneur, you know, try like hesitating on a situation maybe a bit fearful about some of you deciding to go to school maybe some of you he are hesitating on deciding to start your own business pick up a side hustle and um yeah like i said you want to do something that's different not your mainstream type of work and no doubt about it, there's somebody that is ghosting you or you are ghosting somebody. And I'm trying to see, is somebody coming back? Scorpio, you're leaving behind a situation. Yep, as soon as I part the deck, separation. You are leaving behind somebody that you may have genuine love for. You guys may separate for a time. Yeah, to figure out what you want, to figure out what the future holds. Some of you may separate from your job, then that may be what this sudden stop in income might have something to do with. You might decide to quit your job and, and pursue something else. Yeah, in the esoteric realm, some of you are very gifted spiritually. Yeah, codependency. Some of you are actually in a very rocky codependent type of situation. You could be dealing with somebody that has addictions or some type of cycle in their life that is 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 full of self-sabotage some type of self-sabotory behavior here and i'm saying this could be the one so maybe this could be you like i said you've given to somebody you've nurtured someone so much to the point of neglecting yourself maybe you recognized in someone else some type of brokenness and maybe you felt like well if i only love them enough if i give them enough love maybe they can change maybe they can love themselves and yep there is no doubt about it. Somebody is coming back from the past. 
whomever you are separated from, Scorpio. Yeah, somebody's a flirt here. Somebody is definitely flirting with somebody else. And it looks like somebody wants to come back to maybe give a commitment and talk about that. So somebody may want to try to recommit themselves to you. Somebody that you felt like was a flirt. And somebody that you had to part ways with because you may have found out about some things that were very disheartening about this person and about their relationship. About some lies and manipulation and emotional abuse. Some things that were done here that affected your self-esteem in some type of way. And somebody that is that does have some type of emotional void and that tries to fill that void through cheating. And cheating you in some type of way, manipulating you out of your trust and somebody who has frankly become an energy vampire again this could be somebody at work who is very argumentative and controlling and somebody around you that you might feel is using you scorpio again flirting with somebody online and depending on you for money when they have their own or somebody who is just quite frankly lazy and um is waiting on you to provide for them you might feel like this is adult children in your life, maybe. No, random. Some of you might have an aspiration to become a cook, a chef, professionally. Oh, you got the tower. Definitely a Gemini. Why is it? The tower is like the moment of truth. When you find out that somebody has stepped out on their relationship and possibly had a, a kid with somebody else. Maybe that's, this is what they tried to hide from you. Somebody could have decided to not go through with the pregnancy. Somebody does have destructive behavior. So yeah, somebody's trying to right their wrongs. It feels like somebody feels like they failed at a situation. Somebody, it could have been a parent that feels like they failed their children. And somebody may decide to come and make the effort to patch up a situation with a child. But no doubt about it, it's like there's a soulmate connection that somebody still feels drawn to, Scorpio. And they may be looking to try to fix something with you. It couldn't be more clear. No doubt about it, Scorpio, you may want to reconnect with somebody or there could definitely be someone feeling this way about you, wanting to reconcile with you. Or some of you may be reaching out to your children who may feel rejected. You may have felt rejected by somebody. Someone may have ghosted you, decided not to follow through on their responsibilities. And it feels like somebody really does want to start fresh with you. But this person may be very unclear about what the future holds. Both of you may feel this way. Because it feels like there's trust issues on both sides. Some of you, it's time to buckle down and trust yourself about your work situation. About what direction you really want to take your work. Excuse me if you hear background noise. I'm not the only one in the room right now. Yeah, and it definitely feels like divine timing is at hand right now. And that it's time to make a firm decision about what you really want to do long term. Again, with your career, with a gift or talent that, that you have that maybe you haven't been following through and pursuing something, it's time to really take a look at something seriously and pay attention to your money because it definitely feels like, I don't know, money could be tight for a period of time. And it definitely feels like some of you might be thinking about going on a trip, possibly to go see somebody. But it definitely feels like there's a lot of emotion that you have for somebody, Scorpio, and that you might have a lot of shame and regret and guilt about a past situation. And that might cause you to go and try to patch something up with somebody to be more present in somebody's life and it feels like somebody may be focusing more on peer pressure and trying to belong hiding from confrontations and overlooking the reality of situations not taking your feelings into account not trying to see both sides of the situation and feeling like they're the ones that are right and both of you I don't know, may need to come to a compromise. Or that may be something that somebody is hoping from you, Scorpio. It's very likely that it's a Taurus. You got Taurus, Cancer, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra. Specifically, those Gemini sticks out. The strongest for air signs. You got a fake friend around you, some of you. 
or somebody who is just trying to pull the wool over your eyes and act like they're your friend, but they're not. Yeah. Playing the role, perpetrating. And for some of you, this is somebody that you share a life with, you share a bed with, and shared a, a, a you know, made a family with. Listen to your intuition. It's going to be a very integral time for you to make some wise choices in your life and try to, you know, get out of this cycle of like karmic lessons having to repeat. <laughs> Be careful of butting heads with somebody because it does feel like there could be somebody that could be triggering you, especially at work or in relationships, straying away from tradition and following your heart and possibly, like I said, going into something of the esoteric realm, uh, spirituality, exploring spiritual things, even though it goes against the norm or it goes against your upbringing, whatever the case may be. This is what I see for the Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see. Within the next few months. So it feels like there's some major decisions, Scorpios, that you're going to be making within the next few months. Maybe about whether to go and fix something with somebody, to work things out with somebody, or to decide to change careers. Because your spirit guides definitely feel that you're ready to, to pursue something, though you may have been putting things off because of doubt and fear. Scorpio, it feels like you've been through a lot in your life, and there's some things, like I said, that you may be reevaluating and changing. Certain people that you may be coming to a compromise with. Maybe this could even be within self, making a decision about your... Uh, uh, about something within self and getting off the fence about it and finally taking action to bring something into fruition and maybe even focusing more on your health maybe the health of relationships around you or just in general and then asking for help when you need it because it definitely feels like you have a lot of responsibility on your shoulders and with work you're feeling like there's something else out there for you and you may be deciding to choose a brand new direction for your life or your career. And it definitely feels like your spirit guides are encouraging for you to look out, look for the signs. They're giving you clear signs and indications about what to do when you're looking outside. You're looking external from yourself. Asking for advice from people when really your spirit guides are saying that the answers really are within you, Scorpio. It's time to like dive deep and, and get by yourself step away from the influences and the voices of other people so that you can clearly listen to your intuition with that scorpios this concludes your general reading with angelic ascensions if you would like to book a personal reading with me where i pick up on your own personal energy you can book me for a personal session on my website angelicascensionstarot.com if you found that it was helpful leave a thumbs up consider subscribing and leave a comment below scorpios i'll see you guys again in the next one peace out